Hi. Well, it's been a while since I've uh, made a video, but here goes. I'm going to try to keep this short. Uh, in this video, uh, I want to talk about listening. There was something that I noticed while preparing for the show that I had a couple days ago. And that is that I was really surprised at how some musicians um, aren't very, um, they don't really know how to listen. Now when I say listen, listen, what I'm talking about is, um, and the reason why I'm talking about this is because I think this might be helpful for, to some of you. Um, because this is something that at some point we all tend to do, particularly string players. Okay, now, let me, let me talk about, um, <clears throat> let me elaborate on the point that I'm trying to make. Okay, so, um, in the ensemble, uh, there was a song, um, that, uh, just kind of came out of nowhere. Um, at the last minute, I decided that I would, uh, I didn't want to play solo. I, I'm not, don't particularly like playing solo in the air because I know people aren't going to come to see that. Uh, even though <laughs> I play around the globe, they come to see it, but Rochester, no. So, um, but I was excited to play with an ensemble because there were just things that I uh, wanted to give a try that I just never had an opportunity to do. So anyway, getting back on point, um, uh, trying to come up with a lot of songs, I mean, there really wasn't a lot of time to do a lot of things, and, and, uh, and I'm not doing very well uh, physically uh, these days, so uh, that's another story. But anyway... So we decided that we're going to do this uh, Sonny Rollins tune. Uh, and it's one of his classic tunes. Everybody knows this song. Uh, you know, that, that whole thing. So, okay, good. That's an easy song. And I would sing this song. Uh, you don't hear too many people uh, actually sing it. Um, so I was excited about that. So, um, so wait a rehearsal. Cut off the song, and between uh, one of the other instruments that was playing the melody and the bass, it was like, "This isn't right. This uh, that's <laughs> that uh, that's not exactly uh, what should be happening there." Um, so um, the response to that from the culprit, uh, uh, the instrumentalist, uh, the person playing the melody had it right. Um, <clears throat> the other, I, I'm trying to avoid, <laughs> I'm trying to, you know, but there's just no getting around it. The bass player just had it. Uh, he, he just wasn't playing it. Uh, and he, he, he said, oh, I play it differently. Well, I kind of chuckled to to myself upon hearing that. I'm playing it differently. Okay, so does this mean that you've uh, reharmonized the song? Now, I am one known for my crazy arrangements. However, the melody, and at least the bass are always intact. In other words, no matter how crazy the arrangement is, there's no mistaking the melody once the melody starts. Um, so again, let's get back to the, um, I play it differently. <laughs> and, uh, you know, basically it's like, no, you're, you're, you're not playing it differently, you're playing it wrong. Now, being a nice guy, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say that. Um, but it was getting difficult not to say that. So anyway, um, so then I suggested, you know, while we're there, okay, um, play the, uh, you know, everybody's got their phones and everything. And so let's just play, play a little bit of, uh, you know, let's listen to Sonny Rollins. Let's just listen to it. So the song is playing. And then I noticed that uh, 
But in this case, the bass is he's diddling along as he's listening to the piece. So then I, I basically, I, I say, can you, wait, stop, stop, stop. Okay, uh, let's start it again and let's just, just listen. Okay, so we start it again and the song is playing and this was diddling around while the song is going on, you know, with his fingers. Um, then finally, again, um, you know, that magic number three, I mean, it's really happened. It's like the third time. I say, okay, we're going to play it, but do not play. Just listen. So finally, we're listening uh, to the tune. Do, 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 I recall doing this as a young musician where I think we all do this. We're kind of diddling around. But the best way to listen to a song when you're learning it is just listen. Don't play. Listen. You know, so if, if you're focusing on whatever uh, instrument, you know, that it is, you know, you just... You know, listen. Now, if you're going to hum or whatever, because basically there's some kind of interesting things where whatever it is that you can hum, you can play. But it dawned on me that I think a lot of um, players, now I say players, I distinguish players from musicians because, see, musicians kind of know these things. Uh, musicians and players are two different things. Good players are good players. Musicians are people that know how to listen. Um, and um, so anyway, the whole point of this is keep this in mind when you're learning, you know, a song, um, you know, you need to learn to listen. And when I say listen, I mean, don't do anything but focus on that particular piece that you're listening to. You can isolate it to whatever it is that you need. If it's the piano or whatever, or in this case, you know, the bass, um, you're going to focus on that part. And by doing that, it, you can be so much more efficient because you're not really able to hear, you know, the piece when you're diddling around with it. It's just not an efficient way to do it, even though, you know, we all at some point do that. And maybe some of you are still doing that, and I'm encouraging you to, it's time that you learn, um, if you haven't already. Just learn to listen. Anyway, that's all I've got to say on that subject. Um, and um, we'll be talking more about stuff. Um, maybe my next video will, uh, will be sooner than later. I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> you might have noticed that... Uh, I, I, I'm not pretty much into social media much anymore. Um, but anyway, so to repeat myself, listen, listen. Michel Fembro, signing out.